What is going on, guys? Um, I'm here today with the first and hopefully many more uh, guitar lessons for a lot of old songs instead of the new ones. So today we're going to be taking a look at Michael Stanley's Let's Get This Show on the Road intro. And for a long time I've been looking up to play in the intro, and a lot of people, actually there's never been any place I can find it, so I find I just kind of found just notes that sound similar to it, so I thought I'd share with everyone else who's trying to play this song and just, you know, get the cool rhythm going and everything, so first of all we're going to be in standard tuning today, as well as we're going to have a capo on the second fret. And so we're gonna start. We're gonna start with an A minor chord. All right. But when we start off, we're gonna we're gonna do a hammer off. Actually, no, I'm sorry, a hammer on. So we we're gonna do a downstroke, and as we come to the B string, we're gonna be doing hammer ons with it. So. Then, then we go to a C major seventh, but instead of playing this, you play this string, uh, a low E string. So, and then he, Michael Stanley, does this little slide that just kind of gives a feeling to the song. So, after you come off the C major seventh chord, you. Slide your, you just, you go to the B string and you slide all the way up to the fifth fret and you slide back down and you keep playing the intro until the main verse comes along. So, Actually, if you look on many of the live versions he does, he actually does play with the cable. Normally the chords are B minor, A, and G. Well, I've kind of transcribed them also just for people who can't play bar chords or play some of the chords easily. So most of the time the chords are B minor, A, G, and then uh, before the chorus it's uh, B minor, A, and E. And then through the chorus it's A minor, G, A minor, or B minor, A, B minor, A, G, right? Well, I transcribe them to where they're just a little bit easier. So you start off with A minor, G, F, and most people, it just really imperfect how you want to play F. You can play it where you just hold down these two, hold down, or bar over the high E and B string and just put your, and then put your middle finger on the G and then ring finger on the D string. Or you can play as a bar chord like this. Now some people will play like this just because they're richer sound than this. But and then for so basically you play that throughout the whole um, verses. And then before uh, the chorus, you'll play A minor, G, and D. And then through the chorus, it, it goes. Towards the end, after the and he plays the intro once in the beginning, once in the middle of the song, and then toward at the end of the song they play just a little more of a uh, kind of a Spanish kind of guitar kind of uh, solo for the end of the song. So basically, the way he plays that is just basically how they play the intro, but just the picking pattern's a little bit different. So it kind of sounds like this. Actually, when you when you play the intro, you normally just do a hammer on, right? Well, in the outro, they it they hammer on, then they hammer off. So it's kind of a little bit a little bit different, but not too much to the extreme. So.
Thank you guys, thanks uh, guys for tuning in on this uh, guitar lesson, and I hope there will be many more to come. So, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do for the next guitar lesson, or any of them, uh, just leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, give a like, and you will see more. Thanks again, guys. Peace.